What if I told you there was a card out there that functioned like a debit card, but had the benefits of a credit card? It could help you track your spending and help you save more money. I don't believe it. And what if I told you you can get all of this for free? It's not possible. In today's video, I review the Coho Visa and the Stack MasterCard. Make sure you watch to the end to find out which one is right for you. What is a prepaid card? It's a reloadable card you can fund to make purchases. What are the reasons to have a prepaid card? Prepaid cards work like a debit card. You can make in-store purchases, pay bills, withdraw cash from ATMs, and send money. Prepaid cards can also function like a credit card. You can make online purchases, do bookings for hotels, car rentals, and airfare. And since they are MasterCard and Visa, they have zero liability. This protects you from any unauthorized purchases. Also, prepaid cards may offer you rewards, offers, or other benefits. And you may have bad credit or just want to avoid using a credit card. With a prepaid card, you can enjoy the benefits of having a credit card without having a credit card. So you don't have to worry about your credit card history or paying credit card fees and credit card interest. Prepaid cards encourage you to save. They have features that can help you track your spending and you can even set up automatic savings. While most banks and credit card companies charge fees, these prepaid cards don't. With that being said, let's start this off with the Stack MasterCard. Like advertised, Stack has no fees. No monthly fees, no ATM fees, no NSF fees, no over limit fees, no inactive fees. And what Stack is known for? No foreign transaction fees. This makes this card perfect for traveling. You don't have to pay foreign transaction fees. You're protected from fraud through MasterCard. There's no ATM fees and you don't need to carry cash around you. And Stack has the best currency conversion rate in over 150 countries. Stack offers instant cash back at over 140 different retailers. They have exclusive offers and promotions like get 15% off purchases $75 or more at Foot Locker. Get $1 cash back when you spend $5 or more at Starbucks. This can be equal to up to 20% cash back. They also have offers at Walmart, grocery stores, liquor stores, gas stations, and all kinds of restaurants. These offers may be limited, but most credit cards only charge from 1% to 4% cash back, while Stack's offers can range from 5% to 20% cash back, sometimes more. Stack can also help you track your spending. They have a financial IQ feature that will help you categorize your spending, so you have a better understanding of where your hard-earned money is going. Large box of condoms, a bottle of old Harper, and some illegal fireworks, and one of those disposable enemas. You can set up savings goals and automatically round purchases and add it to your savings. Other features include free stack to stack transfers, instant notifications, and a split the bill feature. Stack includes a dedicated virtual card, a physical card with a sleek vertical minimalist design with no names or numbers on the front. And you can also use Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and Fitbit Pay with Google Play coming soon. And what else will complete this fintech company? It's referral program. You can earn $5 for the first five friends you refer, $10 for the next five, and $15 for any referrals after that. There is no limit to how many friends you can refer. If you're interested in earning a $5 sign-up bonus, make sure you check out my link in the video description. So how do you load money onto your Stack MasterCard? There's four different ways. You can add money to your account by e-transfer. You can get your employer to directly deposit a portion of your paycheck into your account. You can set up Stack as a bill payee with your online banking. Or if you want to load cash, you can do this by visiting a participating Canada Post or other retailers. If you are looking for customer support, you can chat with them in the app or communicate by email or phone. So what are some of the cons of the Stack MasterCard? They are currently not available in Quebec. If you live in Quebec, you might be better off going with the Coho Visa for your prepaid card needs. Another con is Stack doesn't offer joint accounts. If you're looking for joint accounts, once again, you're better off with Coho. And finally, the biggest con, you can't send e-transfers or accept them. In order to receive money from others, they would need to have a Stack account too, where you can do a free Stack to Stack transfer. With Coho, you can't accept e-transfers either, but you can send them to others for free. That brings us to our next card, the Coho Visa. This card is Stack's biggest competitor in the prepaid card game. Like Stack, Coho has no fees. No monthly fees, no ATM fees, including no e-transfer fees. Coho's cashback feature works like most credit cards, giving you 0.5% cash back on all purchases. You may be thinking, isn't there other cards out there with no annual fee that will give you a much higher cashback rate? Yes. 
There is. But the Coho Visa isn't a credit card. So if you have bad credit or just don't want to mess up your credit, Coho might be your only option for cash back. Also with a credit card, you usually pay an interest rate of 19.99%. So making 2% cash back with your credit cards won't really matter if you're paying close to 20% in interest. With Coho, you don't have to worry about paying interest, getting approved, messing up your credit, or getting into credit card debt. And unlike most credit cards, you get your cash back instantly. You don't have to wait till the end of the year. One of the main reasons why people are drawn to Coho is how they help you track your spending with insights and help you save your money with automatic savings and a roundup feature. According to Coho, within three weeks, the average user reduces their spending by 15% and saves nearly $500. Coho encourages you to be better with your money and save, while most credit card companies encourage you to spend your money and get into debt. Another feature Coho has is its joint accounts, where you can share expenses with family, friends, or a spouse. With the joint accounts, you can split your expenses, share goals, and get insights to shared spending. Coho's physical cards come in four different designs. Like Stack, Coho offers a separate virtual card for online spending. And Coho currently has Apple Pay and Samsung Pay and the tap feature for making easier purchases. So what's Coho's referral program? You and the friend you refer will earn an extra 1% cash back on all purchases for 90 days. You can do this to up to 10 friends at a time. So it's possible to earn an extra 10% cash back from just referrals. The Coho cash back and referral program could possibly earn you a lot more money than Stack, depending on how much you use your card and how many friends you refer. So how do you load your Coho card? There are two different ways to load your card, by e-transfer or by direct deposit. And currently, if you set up direct deposit, you can earn an extra 0.5% cash back on all purchases for the next 90 days. To qualify, the deposit must be a minimum of $500. Now let's get into the cons of the Coho Visa. The first one, it's a Visa. Now don't get me wrong, Visa is as widely accepted as MasterCard. It has the same zero liability policy. But for those who shop at Costco, in Canada, Costco doesn't accept Visa and vice versa in the states. Another con, like I already mentioned, Coho can send e-transfers but can't accept them. Although you can send and receive money for free doing a Coho to Coho transfer. Another small con, there is a $1 monthly inactive fee. This starts month 13 after activation. You get charged this if your card has not been used for 90 days. So just be aware, if you ever stop using a card, you should cancel it. In the last con, Coho claims they have no fees, but they have a 1.5% foreign transaction fee. Although this is a lot lower than your average bank or credit card company. But there is one way around the fee. That's if you sign up for Coho Premium. For $9 a month or $84 a year, you can get extra features to your Coho card, including no foreign transaction fees, 2% cash back on groceries, eating, drinking, transportation, and gas free financial coaching, premium card design, price matching, one free international ATM withdrawal per month, and higher velocity limits. If you enjoy your Coho card, you may benefit more with the premium card. Although Stack and Coho are similar cards that act like a debit card, a credit card, and help you track your spending, that's where the similarities stop. The Stack card isn't your everyday spending card. It's either the card you use for traveling because of the no foreign transaction fees, or it's the card you use to get extra deals or offers. If you already have multiple cashback credit cards, the Coho cashback feature is useless. But with Stack, some of the deals and offers can be equal to 20% cashback. So the Stack MasterCard should be used like another weapon in your wallet, in addition to your other credit cards. The Coho Visa is a different animal altogether. This card is better suited off for someone who struggles with managing their money. Being a prepaid card, you don't have to worry about credit card debt or paying interest. The track your spending feature, automatic savings, cash back, and the roundup feature are all designed to help you know what you're spending your money on and help you save your money. This card is your everyday spending card, replacing your debit card and your credit card. Also saving you the fees that a debit card or a credit card would charge you. So that's my opinion on the two cards. Which one do you think is better? And if you like this video, hit the like button and share this with a friend. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos like this come out. And if you want to further support the channel, check out some of the affiliate links in the video description. If you got any questions or comments, comment them below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep making money moves. Peace.